Hello and welcome to Total Football Analysis. In this video we will take a closer look at Jesse Marsh's tactics at RB Salzburg. After Marco Rose joined Borussia Mönchengladbach, Jesse Marsh took over the reins at RB Salzburg. The American worked as the head coach of New York Red Bulls and was already familiar with the RB philosophy. RB Salzburg's pressing tactics are one of the most important facets of their style of play. Under Marsh, they mainly press with a 4-2-2-2 system, but according to the American coach, they used nine different formations in his first nine months at Salzburg. However, the idea behind their switch of formations is to address what the other team does to make sure to close spaces the right way. But in general, Jesse Marsh lays more emphasis on the habits and tactics than on the actual formation. About their pressing tactics at Salzburg, Jesse Marsh said, People talk about triggers for pressing, for us the most important thing is timing. An important principle is that they press when the player releases the ball, not when he receives the ball. Moreover, the distance plays an important role as well. Marsh wants his players to be positioned so that they only have to run half the distance of what the pass length is in order to press the receiving player as early as possible. This decreases the time and space for the receiver and therewith increases the chance of winning the ball for Salzburg. Every player around the ball has to attack the ball and has to run through the player, whereas other teams would press the ball carrier only with one player in order to have enough players left to intercept passes and mark opponents. Salzburg often press the ball carrier with two or sometimes even three players. The job of the pressing players is not to worry about the passing lanes, it's to win the ball. At the moment when the first player decides to press, the entire team attack. What helps RB Salzburg when pressing is the concept of the cover shadow. The cover shadow gets bigger as closer as the pressing player is to the ball carrier. Therefore the cover shadow does not only reduce the passing options for the opposition, but also facilitates the prediction of the next pass for the players who are not actively pressing the ball carrier at that moment. As a result, they can adjust their position to intercept a possible pass. RB Salzburg try to bring as many players as possible near to the ball without worrying about the other half of the pitch. And as their team is in ball orientation all the time, they are also able to pick up second balls. In the back, Salzburg want a tight defensive shape and contact within the last line of defense in order to prevent being overplayed with a simple long ball to a free striker. And since they do not worry about players positioned in wide areas, they can always create a supporting player when the opponent attempt to play balls behind the defense. If the initial press gets beaten, they come back a little and attack once having even numbers again. Marsh calls this concept recover and repress. When RB Salzburg win the ball, the attackers will aim at running towards the penalty spot. This will enable them to attack with only as much width as needed and it lets them attack the opposition goal extremely fast. Another sub-principle of Marsh's side is that they want to have numbers in the box in case the first play doesn't come off and the ball carrier needs to put in a cross. If Salzburg have made the breakthrough in a wider area, Marsh prefers flat crosses behind the defense to use the advantage of pace. Moreover, those crosses are so difficult to defend that they often result in own goals as well. Since the defenders have to clear the ball facing towards the goal, if their clearing attempts fail, they will score an own goal. And even if they can clear the ball, Salzburg use this as a trigger for counter-pressing. Because the probability of scoring on the first post is high, the first attacker in the box will always attack the first post. The fact that the ball carrier knows this will enable him to make a decision early enough so that the defender might struggle to arrive on the first post before the attacker. These early first post balls are a common attacking strategy of Marsh's side. An important component of their attacking play is that they will have their attackers running into the deep on a regular basis like in this situation. With the help of data and stats, Marsh will check how many attackers run into the deep on average. Although their attacking structure remains rather narrow, Marsh wants the passing lanes to be long enough to unbalance the opposition shape with passes, but at the same time to ensure short distances to counterpress in case they lose the ball. In order to practice their short pass combination play and the ideal passing distances, they use rondos in every training session. Ball far players are supposed to attack if needed, but in the half space instead of out wide. This allows the opponent less time to reorganize and increases the chances of successfully penetrating the opposition backline. In this instance, their ball far fullback attacks in the left half space. After a switch of play to the left back and a flat cross behind the defense, Salzburg can score against Atletico. Losing possession is not an issue for RB Salzburg under Jesse Marsh. The American even teaches his players that losing the ball can be good too. By counterpressing, they can win the ball back and create a chance from that. 
In this context, Marsh stated that a defensive weapon is an offensive weapon as well. When RB Salzburg possess the ball, all players behind the ball are supposed to mark the opposition players in the rest defense. That way, they do not cover the space, but rather try to position in a way that enables them to press any possible receiving player when the opponent counterattack. Something special is that RB Salzburg are comfortable with defending 1 vs 1 at the back. Most sides will have a spare player in the back that can cover. RB Salzburg's philosophy is based on the thinking that the chance of winning the ball back with an additional pressing player outweighs the risk of losing a 1v1 at the back though. Furthermore, their defenders in the rest defense should be ready to forecheck. This allows them to win the ball back high up the pitch or at least to prevent the opposition from receiving and turning. In this example, Salzburg's defender can win the ball back in their game against Bayern, but they do not win the ball back to control possession again. Instead, Marsh wants his team to play vertically after regaining possession in order to exploit the opposition disorganization during the transition phase. Here Salzburg can create a chance immediately after their forechecking and score their second goal against Bayern. All in all, Jesse Marsh prefers a radical style of play at RB Salzburg, their extremely high intensity during the defensive phase of the game and their concepts of playing man-to-man -man within their rush defense makes them a real pressing side. And even their attacking tactics include the intention of not worrying about a loss of the ball, but rather using it as an opportunity to counterpress the opposition. And in the end, for Marsh, the overall aim of pressing is to win balls and to score goals, not to gain possession. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and also check out the other videos on our channel. And if you don't want to miss any of our videos, subscribe to our channel for free. The information in this video is based on a webinar with Jesse Marsh. You can find the link to the webinar in the video description below.